Hello Libra, welcome to your 2019 Equinox reading. I'm going to be using the deck of the Qatars. The Qatars, here you see them in Dutch, Qataren, look them up with a C or maybe a K and the H there with the S on the end for English. The Qatars are about a medieval religion and people who believed they lived in the matrix. They just called it the shadow world. And sure, look it up. That's about all I'm going to say about it. Sure, look it up. It is a very interesting story. And let's get into your reading. I'm going to pull five cards concerning one with a problem, two with negative aspects, and two with positive aspects. So let's shuffle a little more here. Measure twice, cut once. This is the problem. These are two negative aspects and two positive aspects. So the problem, it is pointing to the Ace of Shields, which is, which is the Ace of Pentacle, uh, the Ace, no, the Ace of Wands within this deck. And this card shows on that is, it is a beginning. It makes people remind of a situation of going forward. Here it is lying upside down, so there might be some stagnation or not being able to move forward. Um, but it also, if it's a problem you're working on, it might be possible that your shortcomings within an endeavor of a problem might keep you busy. It symbolizes a birth of an idea of a child, maybe. It, encourage you to take action and to be full of confidence in going forward when it's upside down you have to think carefully to before advancing this card uh, often recalls on some uh, dark words like ru ruining decadence failure you might think of a new endeavor which which might put you in rough waters so you have a beginning, a, bir a bird, uh, controlling, you are controlling your creativity and superiority, your in inventivity and uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, the dark aspect might point to an ending, um, a bankruptcy, decay, uncompletingness, uncompleteness, uh, prosecution or uh, defeat. So the negative aspects are pointing to this problem of uh, like move, being able to move forward. We have two major arcanas, the Fool, which is presented by the Bonhomme here, which is the first card in the deck. So you are really at a new beginning. And you also have the Demiurge. The Demiurge is the devil, I guess. Let's check that one first. The Demiurge, let's put it in the upside position because it's within the negative aspects of the reading. So uh, I will give you both sides to it. So the Demiurge is the devil, like I said. Um, avoid the darkness of the negative path. So you might be having negative thoughts. It's... Um, this card points to um, the world who is created by a loving God, but the shadow world is a reflection that Satan named here is uh, making the whole creation of this dark world so dark and negative. It meant that the journey of life would probably be filled with pain and suffering. This card in the light aspect might be yeah, like you're seeing too much of yourself, thinking too much of yourself, self-destruction, uncontrolled might, passion, bad willingness, under subjectiveness, um, violence and psychosis. So it was upside down within the dark or the negative aspect of this reading, which might point to also um, freeing of slavery, optimism, concern to, of others, uh, awaken to the true self, um, virtue and morals of life. And you take a new step with um, the full card 
which is the Bonham in this car in this deck and the Bonham is all about taking the righteous path to ascension and the righteous path of the Bonham was to live a life without um, eating meat was one of it it was also not fish or eggs you were used to point to both sexes although it says bonhomme and homme in french means man so you had to make a long period of service and um, concisiveness who was needed to be in the mercy of uh, the ones or of the good lord and there might be many dangerous with all the treacherous and seeing the world that can be seen so you in the light aspect of this negative you might be worry without worry and traveling there might be foolish wisdom there might be pureness um immacul immaculacy unpredictability clarity curiosity uh, uh, and you might go a bit out of yourself there it also points to a spiritual life so you might be wanting to advance spiritually uh, libra you might uh, withstand the devil forces and the positive aspects to that are uh, the nine of uh, shields which is the nine of wands and the apolaramentum which is strength i guess you have the string card in the positive aspect of this reading let's go to the string card first or oh, it's maybe not the string card let's see it is uh, no it's um, temperance so look for temperance and clear clarity in everything you do so this card points to self-control balance patience temperance or uh, not being too greedy calmness adaptability serenity harmony um, mingling of the past and the future within the positive aspect i don't think it points to conflict and uh, host hostility frustration co competition um, aggressive holdings and disease but it's purely positive here so this card is um definitely pointing towards self-control a life full of self-control so when you do that it will positively make you go forward being in self-control and keeping the balance and the other card pointing to it is the nine of shields which is the nine of wands let's get to that fast so within the positive aspect it's a uh, it is warning you for usually an un, a hidden threat uh, if it's even personal or on the job you have to use all your skills and experience to defend yourself that's why this card might point to activities you have to procrastinate on or to take your time to judge the situation again and again so it was upside down so it points to obstacles who might come in your path delays or maybe disease situations who look to linger can suddenly gain again so within the positive aspects you might have overcome this obstacles and problems and delays and bad luck uh, inertia disease so within the light aspect or the positive aspect of this reading it might point to you taking charge um re-evaluating uh, it might also point to delay or alienation frustration stagnation and a defensive defensive um pose so within this reading i would say be very cautious about not spending too much or something on the new way you need to follow yourself and it's a purely spiritual way which just points you to um, having courage 
to persist. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching this reading and maybe till next time.